Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me today in this short gospel reflection on today's gospel reading where we see Jesus's compassion for us because he doesn't want us to be lost sheep. So we begin as always with a prayer to the Holy Spirit and we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through christ our lord amen in the name of the father and of the son of the holy spirit amen let's sing a quick chorus praise him praise him the king of glory praise him praise him jehovah hallelujah praise him Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him. Praise him, Jesus, hallelujah, praise him. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him. Praise him, Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, 36 through the end, and chapter 10 through verse 8. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus Christ, our Savior, does not want us to feel troubled or abandoned because he has purchased us by his blood. Even while we are sinners, Jesus died for us. He saved us. So he doesn't want us to go about like sheep without shepherd because he is our good shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Yes, Jesus is looking at us. He knows there's a great harvest of souls. He needs you. He needs me. He wants us to pray to God to send laborers. We are his laborers. Let us be apostles of Christ's love to our families, to our friends, to our neighbors, to the world. Every one of us, we have a role to play in God's kingdom. Don't you know that? Yes, and we don't have to do it by ourselves. As I said, and as Jesus is saying, we are not to be like lost sheep because he is our good shepherd. He has sent us shepherds as well, his own, true shepherds of Christ who proclaim his word. He has, sent us, he has sent us holy priests, bishops, pope, evangelists, preachers. He has sent us, he has sent everyone somebody. Just open your ears. You hear about Christ. You've heard about Christ. What's your response? We continue reading. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax, tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon from Cana, 
and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him. So Jesus called his 12 disciples and he gave them authority. That authority still dwells in his church, in his true church. And we are his church. As he's called them by name, do you know Jesus? He knew us before we were created, before we were formed in the womb of our mother. He called us to by name as baptized disciples of Jesus Christ. Jesus is calling us. He's calling you. He's calling me. He's telling us, come, come, come walk in the harvest of the kingdom. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus. Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Whenever I read this, this phrase, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, it jolts me. At times I feel apprehensive, like, is there time? Am I ready? But we are the kingdom. Because the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Am I living righteously? Am I at peace with God and man? Am I living joyfully? In the Holy Ghost. Don't you worry. The Holy Spirit is our helper and our comforter. And Jesus is our righteousness. All we have to do is follow the words of Jesus. How do we do that? We ask the Holy Spirit, help me. Help me live the gospel. Every day we have to crucify ourselves. Pick up our cross and follow Christ. It's just like words. But we have to put it into practice. Gradually, day by day, we get stronger. We get stronger in our faith, in our resolution to follow Christ, not by our strength, but by Jesus Christ, because he has given us the grace we need, the food we need for this pilgrimage, this work. We can't do it by ourselves. We go to mass, we receive communion, we receive the sacraments, we read the Bible, we read holy books, we read about Christ because our faith, how does faith get strengthened? How do we build our faith? The Bible says, faith comes by hearing. What are we hearing? The word of God. St. Paul tells us in Ephesians 6, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So, as we make this resolution to follow Christ, to proclaim his word, we are going to have obstacles. But fear not, rely on Jesus Christ. Trust in him that he that has sent us on this mission, he will strengthen us. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. I get bogged down at times, at times several times throughout the day when I rely on myself. And then when I remember, don't trust in you. Trust in Jesus. I have these holy reminders all around my house, in my car, around me, in my purse, in my, in my wallet. Why? These are holy reminders. We are not worshiping images, but these images remind us to put our mind to heaven. Okay? Amen. So Jesus called the 12 and he's calling you and I for this work. And he sent them out and he said, make the proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. What are they supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. You're not supposed to ask for money or to say, what is it? What is it need for me? Jesus has already blessed us with all the blessings we need. Did he ask us for money? No. He's only asking us to give him his, our, ourselves. We are the sacrifice, okay? May the Holy Spirit help us to be living sacrifices for Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right. On this very beautiful Sunday, where our Lord Jesus Christ has so much compassion on us. He's saying, I will not leave you a sheep without shepherd. He's saying, go out into the field. Go rescue my lost sheep. 
talking to you and I. Let us also read our psalm today. It was from Psalm 100 and our response was, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. So today be encouraged, no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it looks, remember there's nothing impossible for God and Jesus is our good shepherd. He will take care of us so long as you trust in him. As those hardships come, as those joys come, we only don't, don't go through hardships. We have joyful times. Thank Jesus. Trust in him. Times is hard. Don't rely on yourself. Rely on Jesus Christ, our strength, our savior, our salvation, our worship. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Come and strengthen me. Not just for now, for always. Strengthen my family. Strengthen my children. Strengthen all fathers, especially today, which is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, all fathers out there. May the good Lord strengthen you to be like Christ, who is a good father to us. To be like St. Joseph, who was a good father to Jesus Christ and the Holy Family. Amen. And we end with a chorus of thanksgiving. We are saying... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Remember, freely, freely you have received. Freely, freely give. Go in my name. And because you believe, others will know that I live. We believe in Jesus Christ. Let's let others know that Jesus is Lord. He's alive. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Have a very blessed day. Happy Father's Day. Celebrating Father's Day. And tomorrow, celebrating Juneteenth all my African-American um, brothers and sisters out there and for all of us, just enjoying our faith in Christ as he's called us out to go out and proclaim his good news in our lives and in the lives of others. May the Holy Spirit help us to be holy, keep us holy and help us to flourish in God's kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. We pray the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet, sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and, and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time. By God's grace. Goodbye.